Former National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich, one of the suspects in the 63 billion shillings Aurora and Kimorera dam scandal case, has asked the anti-corruption court to acquit him. Rotich says that the prosecution failed to prove its case and deliberately abandoned its case with only 8 out of 49 prosecution witnesses testifying in the case. Three weeks after the prosecution closed the 63 billion shillings Aurora and Kimarer dam scandal case, former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich, who faces 19 counts including conspiracy to defraud, contravening the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, contravening the Public Finance Management Act, and contravening the Insurance Act, has made an application for his acquittal. In the application to the Anti-Corruption Court, Rotich, who has been charged together with eight other suspects, says the prosecution has failed to prove their case against him and all the other accused persons. The former Treasury Cabinet Secretary says the prosecution called 49 witnesses, but the prosecution led evidence from only eight witnesses. The rest, 41 witnesses, simply took to the stand, but the prosecution failed to ask them questions. Among those who appeared as a witness was the former Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya. Rotich argues that failure by the prosecution to question the witnesses was designed and calculated to waste judicial time, which is costly and inconveniencing to the accused persons. He further states that it was an abuse of the legal process, saying the DPP had the option of either withdrawing the prosecution or closing the case at the earliest possible opportunity and that the DPP should never be allowed to engage in legal misadventure. You need evidence. Through his lawyer Kyoko Kilukumi, the former CS has questioned the grounds on which he was charged, saying he acted within the law. Rotich says the prosecution was ill-advised as the case was politically motivated and was bound to fail. He says the narrative that money was lost or stolen was fiction as the asset recovery agency has not been able to trace any stolen loot and freeze it. The former cabinet secretary who has defended his tenure as a public servant for over 25 years now wants the court to return a verdict of not guilty of serious dereliction of public duty against the ODPP. Rotich's application is a climax of the legal drama that has been witnessed during the trial of a case in a scam that rocked the reign of the retired president Uhuru Kenyatta. The trial, which began in 2019, has had a fair share of legal clashes, not just between the prosecution and the defense, but also with the trial magistrate. ODPP has already... In September last year, then DPP Nodin Haji, through Special Prosecutor Taib Ali Taib and Senior Assistant DPP Alexander Mutu Teti claimed that there was massive interference with witnesses as some were being asked to stay away to subvert justice. Claims that defense lawyers Katwa Keegan and Kyoko Kilukumi dismissed, saying the DPP had failed to prove their case against the accused persons. What followed next was failure by the prosecution to question witnesses lined up to give evidence against the accused persons. 41 out of the 49 prosecution witnesses were not questioned by the DPP, despite turning up in court, a matter that did not go well with the presiding magistrate Eunice Nyutu, who in August warned the prosecution against such incidents. The magistrate dismissed an application to recuse herself from the matter after the prosecution claimed that the court exhibited open bias and hostility towards them. According to the magistrate, the application was calculated to compel the court to grant an adjournment which amounted to abuse of the court process.